All right. I think it's time for us to peace out. A couple of characters leveled up. Let's take a look at that. Uh, let's see. So we can increase lock picking. I want to increase nerd stuff for a bit. Yeah, I, I want to get a lot of my main attributes on each of these characters up to up to three. Just seems like it's worthwhile. Okay, hacked robots admit electricity burst every turn, dealing energy damage to anybody nearby. What else we got? Bonus damage to robots and vehicles. Let's pick up that perk. That seems really handy. Did nobody else level up from that? Nope, didn't. Alright. What do you get off the clown car? I got a big gun. Okay, so we're pretty injured. Everything got rough. I think we're gonna... I think we're just gonna go straight back up to Colorado Springs I just rest it's about it's about time we we've, we've done we've we've done a fair bit don't have enough to fix the toaster I have enough to finish that side quest in the apartment complex or is there anything else yeah there's like one or two still wanted to kill Erastus but I almost wonder if we would actually not have been able to kill him if we had ambushed him there anyway All right, let's go back. Zero, Everybody's zero, zero, eight, 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 zero, zero, zero. Everybody's in a terrible state, and I just don't want to deal with it. Let's see. Wait, toaster. We'll have to come back. It required a level five toaster repair skill, which is just not something I'm going to be able to do. Damn, that's a big bus. Well, is it? I guess it's not. It just looks big, but that's just because everything feels scaled weird. The billboard feels huge, but the buildings feel small. Wait, toaster? Yeah, they're toasters that you can repair, and they're worth, like, crazy money. But I haven't been bothering because... I don't need to. Did Wonder fix the bot at HQ? No, and they got rid of it. I I wish I wish I had. I'm not sure what it would have done. It would have been cool if you could get like a robot companion, but oh well. Let's see, toaster in the cafeteria of the base if you haven't seen it. Yeah, I think I saw it when I went through. We'll uh We'll get to that at some point. The thing is. So far, just based on pure completionism, I'm able to get everything that I need. And so I haven't really been bothering too much with the buying or the selling. Because I figure the longer we wait, the more Lucia's barter skill will go up. And I'll just max that out and then sell everything and then we'll be in a glorious position. That's a lot of rep. What do you need, Rangers? That's Help. what you pay. Have a seat. If it ain't cut, don't stitch it. Okay. So we're golden. Let's take a look around. I guess let's quick swing by the mess hall. And I think we can fix that toaster. Okay, so this is less great. Oh, Toaster Repairman's Badge. Toaster Repair plus one. Well, that's helpful. Uh, let's see. Under armor? No. Not mission items. Mods? Oh, I'm going to have to find this thing, aren't I? Ammunition, usable items. It's not under mods.
That's frustrating. Okay. Well, it's here. So he gets the toaster repair bonus. Nova gets the stethoscope. And Tonka gets, gets the extra crit. Have we picked up pants anytime recently? The answer is no. Well, all right, whatever. We're good. Let's go back. I, mean, I guess what we really want to do is actually go back to Colorado Springs. I should probably stop somewhat soon and either switch games or, or actually end for the night just because I've been going for a solid eight hours. And I want to spend some time in shell, the shell today. Let's... Let's finish up the last couple things in... Oh, God dang it. Let's finish up the last couple things in Colorado Springs, though. Just because I think we're there. Yeah, Tonka has no, no pants. We'll get to that point. Have you gotten some vehicle upgrades? I have. I should probably slap them on. I'll slap them on the next time we go driving anywhere, at the very least. Because we got the clown gun and some decorations. I don't know if we got anything better than that. But we'll probably want to slap the clown gun on, even though some part of me is just like, I just don't want to. How's everyone in one doing? I'm having a good day. Playing Factory with Orbital was good fun, and playing Wasteland is good fun. This game is an absolute slog. But like a fun slog? Clown gun needs to be destroyed. I, I will fully admit it's kind of tempting to just sell it off and not put it on my car. Find a different alternative. I'm sure there is one. All right, let's go up here. We have the whole party. Oh, let's see, we're going to do the last campfire. If I continue to stream with Shell, it'll be Spirit Fair after this, not last campfire. Because I need Spirit Fair more than I need Last Campfire. Okay, so let's go see about this weird, weird dude in the apartment complex. We'll go check out the... Whatever the Heights area is. The one caveat is if the Heights area is huge, then we'll just switch or stop or whatever. Yeah, might be, might be worth it for me to just... Kick back instead. Let's see. Finest budget accommodations in Colorado Springs. This place, finest. That feels like marketing more than actuality. And if it is actuality, I hate to, ha I hate to see slums. Seriously, this place is covered in trash. My own cells. What do you mean out of range? I could get up in there. Tonka. Tonka. There you go. I can see my own cells. Irv? Clone. Oh. Eureka! The secret of what? Twaiters! Twaiters, all of you! Can you see me? Do I exist? Well, that's bad. Ah. I quick saved right before this, yeah? Let's go back. That went bad. I didn't notice the turret pointed at me. This... I was assuming this is going to be a dialogue, and I was kind of hoping I could talk to Irv. And then it got bad. So the dude cloned himself. Potentially the clones killed the real one, and boy howdy. So easiest, best option in my head. Have Harm go first and lure them out into the hallway. Or blow up the turret. I might be able to actually 
get up there with Tonka and hack the turret. I'm gonna... I don't know. God. Oh. Don't do it, don't do it. You shit. I... They all just ran up and ran right over the... Dang tripwire. Friggin... Morons. I don't know what to say about it apart from just like, ah, why? What's the difference between Brawler and Melee? Brawler does less damage, but... Can attack more often and gets movement speed bonuses so potentially a brawler is going to be better at clearing distance and hitting an enemy a lot i i think the point is they're real bad at the beginning of the game but once you get some good brawler weapons and perks your brawler is going to be nuts at least from my experience that seems to be how it works The secret at last! Home again, home again, juggity juggity jug! They must never know. No one must ever tell them. Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cars! They must never know. No one must ever tell them. Eureka! The secret at last! Can you see me? Do I exist? Okay. I can see my own cells. Traitors! Traitors, all of you! Thank you so much. You have been the most gracious of hosts. Gone. The greatest mind of a generation. Thrown down the Gazaman Platz. I am a human just like you. I swivel scuff schmiddle to... I can... My own cells. New targets incoming. I. Listening to these guys is insane. I kind of love it. I, let's spread out. Because these guys are frozen. He can't do anything about it. We already ticked on the turret. I was really hoping I could hack the turret and use it on my own, but no dice. Uh, let's just go abuse this Irv clone. Do you know where you are going to? Do you like the things that wife is showing you? It's like, they're, they're speaking like weird babies, but they're also... They're speaking like weird babies, but they're also... Quoting what seems to be media. Alright, uh, let's go for this one. I don't think I have too much. He's got his soup, though. Alright, get her here. That gives me a good shot at the Irv clone. But yeah, they're... They all sound like Homestar Runner. Oh, that's a good way of describing it. That's a really tough. Oh my gosh. These molides do not compute. Okay. So this time he didn't shrink the whole group. So what's shrunk do? I can work with that. Big Daddy. 
Sacramento, California. That didn't work. I'll just have him defend. Harm, you took some harm. Let's have Nova. Come over here. Heal Started harm. With nothing. Still got it. Okay, what's he got? Good shot at one of the Irv clones. Body, legs. Don't really have much for armor. Two legs. Yeah, that was a good shot. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Nitro burning funny guys. I, whoever voice acted Irv, by the way, absolutely had to have had a blast doing it. I'm gonna keep shooting the legs out on these guys. Okay, we gotta get him some cover. Like we have too much. That'll do. Alright, 17%, 18%, or 80 whatever percent. Alright, we still have harm. Who is you know what? She's healing as long as she doesn't go down. I really wish I understood how combo works. Twaiters! Twaiters, all of you! Wow. Their dinky little laser pistols are insanely strong. The hippopotamus is three times the length of its arm. Home again, home again, juggity juggity jug. Good time for a heal. Mark target. Eyes on target. Okay. Bonus damage from precision strikes. Headshot. You know where you are going to These are very Do fortuitous you levels. The things that wife is showing you. Alright. Damn it. Didn't quite work. Nova, what do you got? Nah, you're garbage. I gotta get I gotta get Nova a more useful ability than what she has. Okay, we got Marshall. Let's go for the this Earth clone. Good time to reload. And Don't have too much more. Uh, let's see. Just get him behind cover. He's down for the count. Let's go get up in this guy's face and just hit him a bunch. We're super small. But I can level up my combo meter at the very least. Alright, so who's he going for? He's gonna keep shrinking me. I feel. And he's gonna keep hitting. Which is rough. Uh, let's see. No, I don't have too much here. Hack robot. Can't mark target. We will just wait. Is this like Mutant Year Zero? I love that game. Uh, super similar. Though, more of a direct story. Let's move forward a little bit. The world, ma! Let's see, now she has Shaolin Surprise. All right, let's get up close. We'll hit him once. <sighs> I haven't used Shaolin Surprise. Armor penetration and damage. After use resets the combo meter. Bonus damage to demoralized targets. Alright, that's pretty good. I will keep that in mind. Right. Well, we missed completely. 
55%, 64%. How small can Big Daddy get? I mean, that is... No one must ever tell them. That is minimum size. Big Daddy. But the answer is... Can see my pretty dang small. Alright. So... Yeah, no original Earth anywhere in sight. Uh, scientist outfit. Equally useful in laboratories and laboratory-based pornography. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Found some clothing. So we can actually bring it back to the barracks. Oh, that's nice. Now I, too, can make my own pornography. It'll be real boring. We'll just be messing with test tubes. The readouts and graphics have flatlined. Now shown that the clothings are dead. Given specialized knowledge and the right resources, may be possible to make more. Huh. On the desk, you find a chaotic mess of ancient dot matrix printouts, scientific journals, and dog-eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in a wild, childish hand. Computer awaits a button press. Begin the experiment. Computer instantly returns with bold blinking text. No subject found on primary or secondary sensors. Alright. So what happens when we cross Big Daddy with Tonka? Then we save. Harm? You're in charge of this. Computer analyzes both sensors as large volumes of data fill the screen. A small thermal printer begins to spew out realms of information-laden paper. The text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic, electrical, and anatomical diagrams. Some printouts reference books and notes on the table. Titles of the book stand out. Cloning in our time, dream or reality. Robotics, cybernetics, and cloning. The future is now. Cloning theory and practice. Life everlasting. Business perspectives. A new you. The list continues, but one component remains the same. The name on every title page. Professor Irwin John Finster, PhD. Every ranger knows the name of Irwin John Finster, the director of the infamous Project Darwin, an old enemy of the desert rangers. Rosie's tenant, Irv, has some explaining to do. So he's not dead. We found... A villain from the previous game. Well, that's kind of cool. Unfortunately, we got to level up lockpicking, but if we're lucky, no. Okay, so we got some goodies. Let's just bring everything here. Let's take a look at who's leveled up. So yeah, can't level him up. Gonna need some time. What's he got? Animal Whisper, Hard Ass, Kiss Ass, Leadership. Let's put a couple points in Leadership, which, I mean, realistically, I should probably work towards that. Okay. That was giving him speed. Because he doesn't get to move much, and I want to get him close so he can just ruin things. I was giving her a bit of strength so she doesn't die. <laughs> okay. So, let's bring his toaster air pair up to six. And her barter up further. And he's got a perk. Oh. Bonus loot. Yields toast. More fire damage. Killing an enemy causes your... Wait, what? No amount of butter knife scraping is going to help your enemies once you're through. Killing an enemy causes your next attack to inflict burning. Dang. So we actually want to wait and wait on toasters until he hits level 10. I don't actually know if toast's any good, but yeah, the bonus loot 
actually is super worthwhile. What's up with Big Daddy? Oh, he's got the stink. Right, because he went down. Well, let's go turn in this quest at the very least. It is time. So, what'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? He wasn't there, and it's weirder than that. Weirder how? Trust us, don't ask. Okay, okay. Can I at least go in and clean up? It's not safe in there. Please stay out until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. Okay, let's follow up on this one. Oh, shoot, there was a thing. Well, it's fine. We have to go back in anyway, because we need the, the better lock picking to get into a safe. I totally forgot about that. It's fine. Colorado Springs is experiencing an increasing problem with refugees fleeing the vicious warlords who dominate the Easter, eastern plains. It's interesting. With games like this, I always assume that there are only small pockets of humanity left or something like that. The answer is no. There's tons of people everywhere. It just sucks for them. I, I want to... I want to find about the, this Irwin thing. Just out of sheer curiosity and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so we want to go over to Market Square and look for the dude in the lab coat. This game on an SSD? Maybe that would fix the long loads. It is on an SSD. Jamie, I'll join the marshals. We do like roughing people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. I even got my own blackjack. City's really oh, humming again, There he huh? is. It's great to see. Just wish they'd rebuild my house. A tall, lanking man is looking over the books on the merchant stand, muttering nervously to himself. I mind if we ask you some questions? Um, I guess. Wh who are you? We're the ones asking the questions. You're Irv, right? Um, uh, yes. What, what do you want? Are you going to arrest me? We found some papers in your apartment written by Erwin John Finster. Is that your real name? I... Uh, he looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. What do you know about Dr. Finster? Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He, he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Is Finster still alive? The original? No, n not anymore. But I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too. Because I'm him, aren't I? He pales suddenly and swallows. Or, I mean, I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race. Right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... No. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I. I swear. You believe me, don't you? We 
We were attacked in your apartment by a few guys that looked just like you. Any explanation for that? Oh no! Did you kill them? I'm afraid we had to. Sorry. Oh, poor clones. They... They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Tell us more about these clones. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. When they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If, if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. Sure. We believe your story. Oh, thank God. So, you're not going to arrest me. Eh, we're not. In fact, if you bring your cloning machine, you're welcome at Ranger HQ. We could use a scientist like you. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! Uh, I'm so grateful! I'll do good work for you. I promise. Thank you so much. I have no idea if this is gonna backfire on me in the slightest. But you know what? That's okay. We're gonna go back to HQ because I've got the stank and that's a problem. Does this mean you get unlimited clones? Yeah, maybe. I'm not really sure about that one. Wait, what? I don't know how the cloning machine's even gonna work. I wonder, Stanky. Yeah, Big Daddy. Big Daddy got knocked down, and he got the stank. Extra, extra, bloody shootout in Garden of the Gods. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? Okay, so we're just gonna go back. We're gonna get Big Daddy fixed up, and that'll be the end of it. I feel like the biggest danger he's going to cause is exploding the lab with him inside. I was just thinking from the perspective of, like, a lot easier to keep an eye on this guy if he's actually at home base. That's it. I don't know. I'm sure there's more logic behind that, but... We'll see how it goes. I mean... I am more than willing to make absolute mistakes, left and right, if it means interesting outcomes. Maybe it'll backfire on me, but it's rare. It's rare for me to, like, truly regret how things go. And honestly, like, we already hit rock bottom on this series after the GOAT. Like, out there. you can only go up from that point. Okay, so let's go back. There's Irv. What do you need, Rangers? Uh, let's see, how's the patient of yours? Fine. Everything is fine. For now. Uh, let's see. Patch I'll up. do it. Have a seat. Let's get rid of the let's get rid of the stank. I and don't mind done. not having to clean and suture a festering wound. Alright, so we've done good things today. We'll come back tomorrow and do even better things, hopefully. I don't know if I'm going to make it to this. There we go. I don't know if we're, I'm going to be able to make it to more Wasteland 3. I've got to do an indie game lightning round. i got to do a mega indie game lightning round, so I think that'll be the plan for tomorrow.